Previously on Bust the Junk Studio. Welt 6, Part 4, Halfway Around the World. All right. There we go. Please there we go. There. That's right. Now you see, I don't know. Yeah, forget it. Upload 3D model. Don't know what's going on here. But it's too thin. It's too flimsy. It's, uh oh. Here comes the distraction. Oh, a toy! 232 by 845. 2031. 2482. It was 1148 dollars. The price goes down. The checkout. Is that true? Plastic fill. Trousers. No, no, no. It's wheels within wheels. B2B, monitor, collect, pay, pay, and hand free Wi Fi at Starbucks. Stuff, stuff, but frankly, gouged. So until then. Welcome to Busted Junk Studio, Episode 7 of Making the Amscope SE400Z Great Again, Part 5. Last episode, we took a trip halfway around the world. Kind of. To uh, get our 3D printed parts for our camera microscope adapter. Let's see how that turned out. This arrived in the mail yesterday. And it has our parts. There they are. They're looking pretty good. I'm I'm happy with the quality there. They, they fit together just right. As all 3DP said in its processing and shipping information, it should take six to seven days to arrive. And it took six, so good on you, all 3DP. I tried doing a little Google detective work in the last video, and, and as you all may well know, that doesn't always produce the most accurate results. At the time, I figured it would be coming out of San Francisco, or maybe even right here in San Diego. But all 3DP's partner, Treat Stock in Newark, Delaware, sent it to a shop in Fort Smith, Arkansas called Hudson Creative Group. It doesn't really matter who or what or where things get done, as long as they get done and it arrives on time and the quality is what you expect. I am very pleased with the process and results. <laughs> who needs a 3D printer? Certainly not me. I'll just point and click things into existence. Thank you very much. I see no need for the cost and hassle of getting a 3D printer set up and getting it reliably to make dimensionally accurate parts time after time. This was a very easy and trouble-free experience for me. I'll put links in the description below. This is ABS plastic. You can see here, you can see on the corners, that was probably the surface that it was mounted on when it was 3D printed. I mean, obviously, that would be that way. And when they parted it, they had to give it a little sand here. You can still see a little bit of the support structure, the grid support underneath it. Very good. This one here, mm, yeah, we're, we're adequately flat on that. See, get that light to roll around there. Very good. We got the hole. We got the little notch that I wanted in that area. That's to accommodate the screw. Well, I think it looks great. Yeah. Same with here. Yeah. And like that. Sometimes it's interesting to see <laughs> how I got to do this. You got you got to reach around the camera and you got to yeah, all this kind of stuff. You know. But uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Now what we got to do is put it together. We got to put some. Got to put a a 440, about 0.112 diameter screw through there. It's got to be that long. With I, I think I'd like a wing nut, you know, so that you could loosen this and then move this around to get the image directly, exactly centered with the camera. And like that. Well, as a matter of fact... Put you in the scene there. There you go. Look at that, some 3D. So, 
I can't wait for the screws. I want the screws, but I don't have the screws, and I have to go to the store to get the screws, and now you're gonna do that today, so I still wanna see what it looks like, though, so let's uh, take this camera. Oh, the world is upside down. And bring her right in here. Center it, because I got a little bit of room there for the foam, but I ain't gonna put the foam in yet. And there we go, and we're in place. Fairly centered. What do you think? Oh, that's a bright, bright light. Okay, I'm gonna dark you out. And then we're gonna go for this. And we're gonna bring this up here. And here's the microscope. So, first thing, we're gonna take these rubber rings off. And we're gonna slip this on here. And now we need something to look at. And uh, I'll just use this. I'll just use this for right now. It's just something. And we'll come up here and we'll lay it on the plate. And let's see what we got. Yep. And we can focus that now. Rotate it. Now we can set the light. That little dim. That ooh, that's that's just about right. Now we move it. Yeah. That's my hook. There's my finger. <laughs> that works pretty darn good. Just focus in on the tabletop. Yeah. Look at that quality machining on that thing. They must have used a. I don't know what the heck they used to cut that. <laughs> that looks terrible, doesn't it? It's actually a dental tool. I don't know. Hate to say it, but made in China. All right? That's it. I think that as modest as these project goals were, I have nonetheless prevailed and can call this one successfully complete. This will make a welcome addition to BJS, and you can expect to see it, or better yet, see through it in upcoming episodes. And the one I figure to do next may take some zigs and zags. It may not start off the way it finishes up. I'm, I'm not sure on the planning yet, but that's something we can see in the next episode. So until next time, remember to like and subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. And click the bell to get notifications of upcoming episodes.